Happy Wednesday, Barstow, and welcome back to BTVN. I'm Story. And I'm Talia. Story, did you go to Pink Out last night? I did. It was a great game, and the Knights came out on top. Congrats to the team. Unfortunately, the middle school soccer A team could not come out with the win yesterday versus Pembroke. We have some great pieces and lots of announcements to get through, but we can do that after the intro. Talia, I love your orange shirt. Well, thank you. Today is Unity Day, so wearing orange means you get a donut. Unity Day is in celebration of National Bullying Prevention Month and is all about promoting kindness. I love that message. Speaking of, we have a piece Pamela made that also includes an important message. Yo, what the heck, Will? Oh, my bad. Put your bag under the deck. Sorry, sir. My girl tripped on my backpack. Now I owe me 500 bucks for hospital fees. What am I gonna do? And I kind of play sleep. Hey man, the hooks are right there. It's not that hard. I bet. Yeah, just keep it on the hooks. One time, I tripped on a backpack on the floor and I almost broke both of my legs and my arm. Ow, that really hurt. I understand the cause. Keep your backpacks off the floor, guys. Don't put your backpacks on the floor or that might happen to somebody else. This story is, it's just, hold on, give me a second. It's really hard for me because I was walking in the hallway and I just, I tripped over a backpack and I like, I, I was like, I saw the light and I, <laughs> My life flashed before my eyes. I'm gonna lose all of my scholarships and my offers because of this bag right here. Pick up your backpack from the hallway. I was a witness. One time I tripped on a backpack and actually my life flashed before my eyes. It was so bad, I had to start going to therapy. And it makes me tear up just thinking about it right now. Cut. This is a safety hazard. We are gonna have to shut down the school because of a backpack epidemic. Thanks, Pamela. All this talk about orange reminds me of today's code, which is, you guessed it, orange. Hopefully the sophomores can continue in their terrific streak of BTVN code submissions as they won the points contest with 168 submissions. Don't worry, Story, the juniors were close behind with 118 while the freshmen had 76 and the seniors finished with 29. The sophomores will receive 50 points. Juniors have got to step up their game. Speaking of game, there's a girls tennis district finals match tonight at 4. Best of luck to all of the athletes. I sure hope the weather is nice outside for the match. Me too. I think I have an idea of someone who can let us know for sure though. Let's check in with Kale for some weather updates. What's up Barstow, welcome back to another weather segment. Let's start off by just taking a quick look at the sunrise from this morning. Super beautiful, just peeking over the trees. I mean, what more can you ask for? And that brings us to the weather currently for us. And it is about 56 degrees right now for us, nothing too terrible. Pressure about 29.51 inches of mercury, which really just means we can't expect too much sudden change in the weather. And we can see about five mile an hour wind coming from the south and then about 33% humidity. So really nothing too terrible. And as we can see, as we head into the evening, the uh, temps will continue to rise for us and we should hear a high of right about 60 at 3 p.m. So really nothing too terrible. And now I want to take a look at the uh, live footage of the athletic center. There you can see, I mean, no clouds in the skies, 
perfect, uh, perfect, a lot of sunshine. So nothing more you can ask for from that. And then we can head into the rest of the week. Thursday, pretty similar to today. Pretty cool fall weather, a lot of sunshine. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we should heat up a little bit. And Sunday, we might even peak into the 80s, but definitely no precipitation and a lot of sunshine. So that'll be really nice. Make sure you get out and enjoy that. Send it back to you guys. Thanks, Kale. I'm loving this new weather equipment. I love how we can get a view of the athletic center and the weather at the same time. I agree. Kale actually made a piece about our new athletic center. Let's roll it. This is one of our uh, three hitting bays here at the Barstow School. This is our GC quad. Each bay has one. It's our launch monitor, so it uh, keeps track of ball speed, uh, club speed, degree of attack, all the, all the info that you need. Here at these nice new Barstow hitting bays, we can play any course in the world as well as get all our practice in here on the driving range setting. So uh, we'll be very prepared for all the tournaments. Right here we have our new putting green. This is the generic one, so it's flat, no slope, not a lot of break. The one over here is uh, change, it has changing slopes, so we can adjust for more severe breaking putts. So we got it all. We can practice anything. What an informative piece. I love how Barso continues to improve its campus for the next generations. Speaking of coming generations, the second graders just started their Lewis and Clark unit. Man, I remember the days. Well, now that we're on the topic, one of my favorite books to read as a kid was Percy Jackson. If you can relate, I highly recommend you buy tickets to opening night of Percy Jackson tomorrow. I'll be sure to get mine. Well, looks like that's all we have for you today. I've been Story. And I've been Talia. Have a wonderful rest of your week, Barstow.